Hey, how's everybody doing out there? This is Mike Zito. Uh, this is my first attempt at showing you some uh, lead uh, guitar. This was uh, my friend Jason Ritchie puts videos up. He told me that I should do it and not think it's corny, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you some licks, show you the way that I play. I tell you, I have no, um, no formal education at all. The only education I had was uh, Duke Michelac in St. Louis, Missouri, who gave me some great musical uh, uh, foundation to work on, and I've just been playing on my own for a long time. Uh, I'll show you how I play. A lot of these licks are probably from maybe even people that I don't know, so uh, maybe you can correct me along the way, let me know where I'm at. Uh, but I'm mostly self-taught and um, just pick stuff up from records and from videos and watch people play. And uh, it's a combination of blues and rock and country and uh, everything that I like. So, got my uh, trusty Fender Telecaster. Show you there. It's a Fender Custom Deluxe 2009 model. Brass Bridge, my Joe Barden pickups, which I always enjoy. And I've got a little uh, Fender VibroChamp back there. XD, little tube thing I bring with me. I'm on the road in the hotels and uh, gives me something to play with, have a good time. I don't know how good my camera is going to work. But I'll tilt it at the right angle and show you some licks. And I um, figured I'd show you some licks in E today, some open string licks uh, that are blues and, and country uh, oriented. And I'll also show you that I use a pick. It's a blue Tortex, one millimeter. And I play with my fingers a lot. Um, and it's a culmination of either pick and finger, there we go, or I'll drop the pick in my hand and I'll just use the fingers. And uh, I don't know when I'm changing it, I don't pay enough attention, but uh, we're going to find out, huh? So let's position this so you can see the guitar better, not me. There we go. All right, so look, let's just start right there. That seems like a pretty basic lick, but I knew at one point I was just starting out on the guitar, and um, these things that I know that I take for granted, people want to know. So you're in E. Say something like that, and you want to play some, some licks. So what I'm doing right there is I'm on the G string, and I'm starting on the second fret, which is an A note, and I'm sliding it to a B note. I'm using my uh, bad finger, and I'm sliding it up, and then the index finger is grabbing the B string on the third fret, and I'm going... And I'm playing the E string open. There's so many licks right there, just in that, depending on the timing. The, you can change the phrasing around. There's a lot you can do with that right there. If I was doing the... That's that lick right there. If I wanted to, I could then uh, I could finish it, come back and go. Come back on the G string at the fourth fret and slide it back down. Pull it off and finish on the D string on the second fret, which is the E note. So I could go. just one particular phrasing say if the song was more swinging like you could do say 
um, I mean, you could take that and play it in a number of different ways. And it's very common. Uh, open E string lick. So let's add uh, let's add another note in there. Let's do the same rhythm. Okay, right there. I'm doing this. I'm doing the same lick. I'm hitting the open E. Then I'm going to the third fret on the E string, the G note. And I'm bending it. And that right there is the B string on the third fret. I'm sliding it open to the E, to the fifth. So you're going. I mean, that right there is a great lick. You know, you can... The idea is just, just taking these licks and finding your own uh, ideas, you know? People ask me all the time what licks I learned or show me a lick. And, um, man, I don't know. I don't know a lot of licks until I start playing the music. You know, once I hear the music and you want it to sound a certain way, you take these things and start making your own music with them. And that's where it's all at, is, is trying to, to play what sounds good, not what play. And playing fast or playing as many notes as possible, but trying to play with some feeling and, and uh, what, what's going to sound good to people that might be listening to you, which is really where it's at. Last thing I'll show you here is you can use this high E string. Okay, now if you can see my right hand here, I'm going to pick on the G string. I'm going to take this finger and pull on the high E at the same time. So I'm picking the G string and I'm pulling the E string with my finger at the same time. So you're getting a a double stop and you could throw in that drone high E for all kinds of cool licks in there. and it's got a real great you know blues Mississippi kind of Delta country thing in there. We'll work on some more of these licks here on the next lesson. Well, there you go. It's my first lesson, John McGrath. I did it. I hope that you enjoy it. I'll uh, try to put another one up next week for sure. And um, if you take guitar lessons, you should, uh, you should try to take lessons every week. Learn to read music, eat your vegetables, drink your uh, soup, do everything your mother tells you, finish your homework, and be in bed by 10. Hey, thanks a lot. This is Mike Zito saying have a lot of fun playing guitar.